Huff, 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 huff. So, 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 yeah, the name's Bosai. I'm 35, uh, single, and I love jogging, especially on sand. Yeah, everyone says I'm tenacious as a tick, and I, I think some of them meant it in a nice way, too. So, so you're on your own, pretty rough and tumble place. Uh, wanna hang out with me for a while? Sure. Male Sarah Palin, I'd love to. <laughs> ah, you notice these old things? Wait, what? What? What old? Th what? What old things? Just it, his shoes, which are sunken into and clipping into the ground. You notice these old things? Yeah, they're my sand boots. They allow me to traverse the desert without being slowed down at all. So jogging is a breeze. If you'd like to check them out, we could grab a quiet corner and uh, give me those boots. Huh? Oh well, here's the thing. These sand boots are super rare, and I'd happily give them to you, but... Wait, this is a golden chance to woo. I mean, sure, I'd love to give them to you, you hungry little boot monster. Uh, okay. Ever heard of the legend of the eighth heron? Actually, no. The eighth heroine? Yeah, let's, let's call it that. Eighth heroine? Everyone's... Heard the legend in the Gerudo region about the seven heroines, but some tell of an eighth heroine, uh, wiped clean from memory and no one knows why, why or how. A phantom heroine, uh, known all but seen by none. I've been taken with the legend since I was a child. Find her, show me the eighth heroine, and I'll give you these sand boots. What do you say? Mm. Yes! Ah. <clears throat> According to those who idolize the eighth heroine, she is enshrined somewhere in the Gerudo Highlands. Apparently, they even have a nickname for her, the Bronze Giant, catchy. Uh, beyond that, I, I really don't know much. Mm. Who knows, there might be someone in Gerudo Town who knows more about the legend of the seven heroines. Maybe that info would help, I don't know. Anyway, draw a picture or something if you find her, then show me. I'm pretty picky about pictures, too. If you get one, make sure that at, at least the statue's upper half is visible, okay? Oh, and here, if you'd like, you can use these. I'm sure they'll come in handy. Besides, you seem really into boots. <clears throat> that actually hurt my throat. Snow boots. Bosai was kind enough to lend you these boots. They're evenly, they evenly distribute your body weight so you can maintain your normal walking speed over deep snow. The Gerudo Highlands are covered in deep snow, so it's hard to walk, right? Everyone knows that. But with these snow boots, you can walk through snow like it was flat ground. Uh. No, you can walk even faster than that. It No one makes these anymore, so they're valuable. As such, you can't keep them, okay? Aww. Many have investigated the 8th heroine, but it's an inscrutable legend, an unsolved and possibly unsolvable puzzle. And as Miss Boots spins her wheels on it, we'll grow closer and closer. And then... <laughs> hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. When we last left off, we finished exploring... Well, we'll get more on that. We finished exploring the Gerudo... Well, these are nice. The Gerudo Wastes, or the Gerudo Desert, and solved many of the the quests that were laying around uh, the Gerudo town. In fact, we solved presumably all of them, uh, which meant that we were rewarded with the Thunder Helm, making us lightning proof. This time... Urbosa's fury is ready. Okay, thanks Urbosa. This time, uh, there are a couple loose ends because last episode was also the end of a batch, and this is the beginning of a new batch, which means I have, I have plenty of comments to... Uh, to sift through and and weigh, and one of those I just discovered on my own. I wasn't even looking at the map. I was told that there is a shrine to the south of the Gerudo town, and sure enough, I didn't even I wasn't even trying to follow that comment. I just I just found it. Okay, and I was told to look out for two Gerudo women, and it looks like these are them. Uh, you know, it might be better if. If I if I fit in, even though I'm not in Gerudo Town, they seem a bit more cordial towards Vi. 
Finally, Tali, what on earth? Am I, what? Are these like Gerudo drug dealers? Ahem. <clears throat> What do you want? The Great Tally does not have time to chat with just anyone. You see, now that the Divine Beast is gone, we can finally use the race course. Tally is busy focusing her energy for the Sand Seal race. Oh. Actually, did you want to try to beat Tally's record? I'll warn you, they don't call her the Dame of the Dunes for nothing. <clears throat> Sand Seal race. You've never heard of Gerudo's pastime? The world famous sand seal racing? I thought everyone knew about it. Isn't that shocking, Tali? You surf with a sand seal and race to the finish line while also going through the arches. That's called sand seal racing. And if you get off your shield or leave the course bounds, you're disqualified. Tally's record is 1 minute and 30 seconds, which we have to write in, write in red because she killed, like, the first place leader in order to get that, that time. If you can beat that record, the trophy is yours. Oy. This is the grand trophy that's been passed down by 10,000 years of San Seal Racing Champions. Tally here is the current champion. Will you try challenging her record? Sure, I'll, I'll do it. I forgot to mention, since you're racing against the champ's record, it will be 50 rupees per race. <laughs> Alright, payday. Enough talk. Let's fight. Which no one's gonna get. I guess I guess more people have seen Kung Fu Panda than I give it credit for, but that is also original Kung Fu Panda reference, so. A challenger has appeared to take on the Gerudo Sensei race. Apparently, one who does not risk in li does not mind risking life and limb. But will our current record fa fall? The one set by our Afro woman? Who has white lipstick? And also, what? Why does she have like a gopher on her belt? What? I guess that's a sand seal? With a red ruby on it? The incomparable beast of the desert! The sand seal is ready to ride! Can our new contestant reach the goal in less than 130 while passing under every arc? Or arch. I just realized she's she's pretty old. The suspense is killing me. I'm going to start the countdown. Okay, so sand seal race. Uh, I was not warned about this. I was just told, look out for two Gerudo women, and you'll do great, dog. I probably shouldn't take that out. Uh, also, I am taking damage, and I would rather not die from this. So let's equip these. Hopefully, the fact that we look like a Vo is fine. Where is my next arch? Arch. Arch. I don't see it. I don't see it. Is that it? That's it. Okay. I, I'm not given any hint. I'm just supposed to uh, follow the, the the pathway here. You know, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed. I was expecting, you know, a race against people. Like, <laughs> that would have been such a, a good drop for, now this is seal racing. It just would have been, it would have been perfect. Okay, so there is an arch looks this is fairly like the level design is good so that I I know pretty much wherever I'm supposed to go just based on how the level is is arranged which is great I I'm really I'm really a fan of when uh, game design isn't linear but you still you still have some semblance of direction uh, there's my next one I'm supposed to go s through these skulls I figured out the enemies a few episodes back so I should be fine all right, we have 20 seconds. I don't really see how it's possible to fail this as long as you're not hitting anything. This seems fairly well, whoa, fairly well optimized. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> we get a Wii Sports Resort little cutscene of Link doing his his little fist pump there. Perfect. I believe this belongs to you. I don't know why she has such a deep voice. This trophy is something special, you know. Our champions have passed down a legend about it for 10,000 years. The legend goes, when the holy jewel is offered onto the pedestal, the chosen one will be granted a new power. But that power has never been granted to anyone. Not even to me, obviously. And yet, I sense a power emanating from you, the likes of which I have never felt in anyone else. 
you should give it a shot. <laughs> I have really cool goggles, and so, a new champion is born. A guy wearing Vi pants. And a really warm windbreaker. And like that, as I get back control, everyone's gone. So, new power. I can only assume this is just like a, a blessing shrine. Uh, place it. I was also told that this is the... There's a wolf there. I was also told that this is the last shrine in the Grudo Desert. So, I've done a fairly... A pretty good job of finding all of these. Also, I'm glad that you told me that this is the last one. Uh, because there are still many different areas that I do not know if there are still shrines remaining. And, uh... Th that's going to have to be another episode for another day. But this one, I, I at least know. I'm, I'm done with this. The undefeated champ complete. The champion was defeated, and let's go inside. Raka Zunzo's Blessing. Opening the chest gives... A Radiant Shield. Wait, a Radiant Shield? What is Shield Guard up? I don't think we've ever seen that stat. And I, I did have an inventory space. I do not think we've ever seen shield guard up. Let's... Yeah, wait, wait, wait. No, we have. Okay, our our steel is our shield has shield guard up. But I, I don't remember noticing that before. So it's just a better shield. So... Huh. Okay. Well, I'll take that. I'm happy to get a, a nice shield out of the deal. Next on our agenda, I think should be completing that that quest. Uh, let's go over to that. The where is it? The boot quest, the eighth heroine or heroine. Here is it? I I never actually got the pronunciation of that. Is it heroine? Is it heroine? I I'm not actually sure. Uh, so we need to go to the Grudo Highlands, and we need to get the statue of the eight of the eighth statue's torso. Is that... Here, let's look at the map. Is that here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's possible, but that's also not the Grudo Highlands. Fall Peak. See, when I think of Grudo Highlands, I think of up here. West Grudo, West Barrens. I think this. But I'm not actually sure... Maybe I got a bit ahead of myself there. If you recall, Basaya did say that someone within the town knew about the 8th heroine le legend. So, I should probably take uh, take some time to talk to Basaya again. Sand boots let you, let you walk automatically on the sand. So if you live in the desert, believe me, y you'll want a pair. But the only person capable of making them passed away, meaning they're really rare and valuable. But if you want... If you could spend a bit more quality time talking sand boots and eighth heroines. Uh, there's a legend in the Grudo region about the seven, but there's an eighth. Uh, she's worshipped, hang out in the Grudo Highlands. They have a name, the Bronze Giant. So there might be someone in Grudo Town who knows more about the legend of the seven heroines. Anyway, it would be great if you draw a picture. Yes. So in my quest to find the mysterious statue in the Gerudo Highlands, I am at the Yiga's hideout. And it appears to be empty. There are no Yiga clan people left. But I was told about a room where there were a bunch of bananas. And I think this... I think this is it. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is the room. So... Thank you to that, it actually wasn't a viewer, it was Nova who pointed that out to me, as well as getting me a topaz. So, I just got a ton of bananas, uh, let's, let's find where, are, yeah, I just got like 40 bananas, so, <laughs> if you want a good source of mighty bananas, there it is, don't, don't, don't go to, to Nekluda, go there. Also, in that one room with the secret door, I saw in post that I missed two additional chests, so, I'll grab those. First one has a topaz. And the next one has another topaz. So I missed out on two topazes before. My apologies. So I will admit 
I cheated a little bit for the Highlands quest. Uh, and that's the reason why I'm back at the Great Fairy Fountain. You see, I looked up where the Gerudo Highlands were because I didn't want to be looking over here since I'd already canvassed this area. And I really, I didn't want to be uh, chasing a red herring or tracking down a loose end. So I found out that the Gerudo Highlands is the name of this area. And so I would have to explore an entirely new area in order to complete this quest. And we're going to be going here eventually anyway. So I think that it's best that for now, we just leave the 8th heroine quest alone. It's not like I'm going to have to go back to uh, a place I've already been to complete it. Like, it's it's meant to uh, to direct us into this new area. So, I will just complete it when when I need to. When we I have explored this area fully. So, for now, with the remainder of the episode, I would like to do what I said I was going to do. I even said that I wasn't even going to follow your, your input. Uh, but I ended up doing so to get that last shrine and uh, f discover this quest in the first place. Uh, but I would like to upgrade my gear because that's important. And I have a lot of gear to upgrade now. Uh, and it's just it just makes sense to do it now as opposed to at the end of the game when I don't need it anymore. So let's uh, let's look at this. Uh, we can uh, upgrade that. We can get a uh, shard of Farash's horn. Not really important to me, but we can get it. Uh, I don't really care about the Hylian gear. I mean, it's nice and all, but the every other amount of gear I have, or every other set I have, is strictly better. But the Ice Key Swing, I would love to get. Uh, Ice Key Swing wing and Icy Lizalfos Tail. And I, I'm just going to go around upgrading my, my gear. I just need some hardy bass. Uh, I, I'll just be doing a lot of scrying for the rest of this episode. So honestly... The episode's probably going to be a bit short unless I uncover a quest, because I'm just going to be following my my sensor, which I'm going to be cutting out 90% of that, and, and tracking down a bunch of leads. So, without further ado, also I'm probably going to be getting some Hinoxes, without further ado, let the, let the grinding commence. And those are all the Smotherwing butterflies I needed. That was really simple. <laughs> In the comments section a couple episodes back, uh, you you uh, expressed some uh, anxiety towards how well I was going to do that, saying that it was such a chore and it was really difficult. I was like, oh man. I mean, I've seen smotherwing butterflies before, but I, I've never tried to catch them. Is it really that bad? No, it's not. Once I take a picture of them, it's pretty simple just to track down all nine that I need. So... Yeah, that was a bit that was a bit overstated how difficult that would be. In my quest for Hardy Bass, as you can see, that's the the current blip on my sensor, I discovered this shrine. And if I remember, uh, we did get a shrine blip when we were going over Dig Dog dis uh, Suspension Bridge, and I said that I would come back later, and I forgot. So there's a shrine that I can get out of the way just really quick. Uh, otherwise, I, I was here for Hardy Bass, so I'll probably get I'll probably get my fill here. A minor test of strength, the Casso Shrine. It has been a long time since we have since we have encountered a test of strength. I am excited, and it is a it's a mean it's a minor test of strength, so I'm not going to be expecting too much. But it's still a test of strength, and I can go on go ahead and show off my my new gear. My soldier's greaves, I have 54 defense. And I'm ready to shield bash this fool. Come on. Attack me. Ugh. Come on. That's what I, I like to see. What are you doing? Oh, look at that wind. That is cool. Look at this. This is so cool. It's a unique, uh, it's a unique attack. Come on, what do you got? Yeah, that's what I thought. You got nothing. You got nothing on me. Let's get three charges. Take that wind. Take it. That's what I thought. You can't even... This guy can't even do anything with this wind cleaver. Also, if you're wondering where I got the wind cleaver, there was a, a Yiga... A Yiga dude nearby. Yeah. 
you know what? You know what? Yeah, I, I see you. I see you. Come on. Come on. Shoot me. Oh, that did not work. Oh, that did not work. I broke my really powerful shield. Uh, let's use this as an opportunity to get rid of some of my worst shields, like this one. Come on. I really want to shield bash this. Oh, you you can't shield bash that. I had the timing perfect. So I guess you can't shield bash it. Huh. Like I said, I, that timing was perfect. I've practiced this quite a bit. But apparently you can't shield bash that, and it instantly breaks shields. So I just lost a 70 defense shield from this guy. From this chump. Hopefully uh, this will replace it. Chest contains a sapphire, I'm guessing? An ancient core. Okay, sure. Whatever. Oh, Hardy Bass. Hardy Bass, where is it? It's the last one. <laughs> uh, you are in the way of my Hardy Bass. And you will pay dearly for it. Oh, there it is. There it is. Plink. Ploop. Wait. Where'd they go? I thought I shot him. Ah, oh well. If first you don't succeed, nuke him again. Hardy bass are mine. Oh, that was annoying. And after a long time, here, let me check my timer, just see how long I've been recording this one episode. Two hours and 13 minutes, and I know that I started the timer a bit late, so it's been about 200, 2 hours and 20 minutes for this one episode. So you'll understand if I'm cutting it off a little bit short. In fact, I'm going to be recording the f next couple of episodes in another batch starting tomorrow. This episode won't come out before then, but that is how tired I am of doing this. So I've upgraded pretty much everything that I can without going way out of my way to uh, to upgrade the rest. So uh, the Hylian Hood is up to the max level. Uh, the Hylian Tunic, all it needs is Bokoblin Guts, and I'm not really in a rush to upgrade that, considering that this set has no bonus. Uh, I can just wear the Champion's Tunic, which gives the same amount of, of defense, and it allows me to see health bars. I'm also not upgrading this because it is a carbon copy of the Soldier's Helm, so it's it's not it's not needed to spend 20 of my amber to uh, to upgrade. So the Soldier's Helm is are fully upgraded or up to three stars, uh, giving 54 defense. I upgraded uh, the Desert Vo uh, set, and let's see, the Flamebreaker Helm, and then the Zora's gear, the Stealth gear, and then, this is crazy, going over to the Climbers set, I need Ice Keys Wings, which I already got a ton of and used them all to upgrade the, uh, the Desert Vo equipment, but I need 15 of those, and then I also need Hot-Footed Frogs, which are very rare those are quite rare so i'm going to be doing that another time not now uh i'm not going to be doing that now we'll come back to that some other point uh as it stands i'm pretty content with what i've done uh let's see the barbarian gear i'm going to be upgrading in the end slate of this video because i need an end slate and uh i need i also need to unwind so killing Lynel's getting their equipment since my equipment is the desert uh, theme, which isn't too good, so replacing all of that with Lionel gear will be very convenient. Uh, the Radiant gear, I could upgrade, I have the Mulduga guts for it, but I lack the Luminous stones. You'll see I, actually, I didn't upgrade all of it. I need a lot of Luminous stones to do this, and honestly the payoff isn't that isn't that shining, isn't that radiant as it were, so I don't need to do that now. Uh, let's see. The uh, cap of Twilight is pointless. Uh, and then I upgraded the Ancient Karas. Once again, I do not have the entire set of this, so it's not really needed. But I upgraded a lot of the gear that I use a lot. So the Zor Helm is now max level, or sorry, three stars. I'm not sure if there's a fourth Great Fairy. There may be. The stealth uh, gear is also... So, uh, before I end the off the episode, because at this point I am rambling, 
I would like to go into my inventory and just see if there are any set bonuses for the three star gear. Alright, this does not give any. Uh, it does give 54 defense, which is technically a set bonus of its own. This is the highest defense of any of our sets, and it knocks them out of the park. Uh, the Vo equipment already gives technically two different, um, two different status buffs. It gives us shock damage resist, and it also uh, reduces our, our heat exposure. Let's see, the Flame Breaker set, I doubt would give... Yeah, we already have Fireproof, so it's just a defense buff. Same can be said of the Zora armor. And then the Stealth gear just has Night Speed up. So, I guess upgrading to the third level doesn't really do anything. Other than give us additional defense. Which, to be fair, when we're fighting a lot of the crazy uh, stat-inflated Lizalfos that we have, or Lynels, or Guardians, or what have you, this is appreciated. Not being half-healthed by every single attack is appreciated. And once we get into uh, fighting bosses, like uh, like the Ganon, uh, Calamity Ganon, this will be amazingly uh, overpowered. 54 defense is nothing to scoff at. That's insane, and so I am. I'm happy to to have that. All right, in the end slate of this video, I am going to, for one, use my use my spirit orbs. Uh, probably going to upgrade health and then stamina, and then I'm going to also fight a bunch of Lynels in the end slate to get those hooves, and then uh, starting next episode, our attack, our barbarian equipment will be upgraded. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like. And if you didn't, then drop a comment telling me how I could make the next episode so that you would like it. I release new episodes of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild every Monday and Wednesday. And next time... Well, I'm not sure what we're going to do. We could continue upgrading gear. Uh, if there's an easy place to find hot-footed frogs, then, I don't know, maybe you can drop it in the comments and we'll get around to that. But what I'm thinking I'm going to do... And I'll, I'll upgrade these these first. What I think we're going to do is start working on the DLC. This episode is a bit auspicious in that is the it is the first being recorded after the second DLC pack was released. So I am currently on that patch. I can prove it by scrolling up here. The Champion's Ballad, Treasure Rumors, Ancient Horse Gear are available to us. And I would love to start in on them, but the thing is, we have... DLC still to get uh, the the Korok mask the Misko's treasure we have a lot of stuff from DLC pack one that I haven't even touched or looked at and I think that next episode would be or rather the next coming episodes would be a good time to start in on that because I don't really want to fe feel like I am making a beeline for the last story story area of the game the final unexplored areas because that still has to be saved and paced out. I also don't want to beat that area and then spend 50 episodes on the DLC. So I think that we're going to be working on that. Uh, there are some journal entries that will give us our first clues as to what we're supposed to do. And yeah, I think the Korok Mask would be useful. All of these things, we've already gotten the Travel Medallion. But all of these things would be very useful and would, uh, would get us that much closer to starting in on DLC pack 2 because that has an additional story to it and it it sounds like a blast. Also motorcycles? I mean, there're motorcycles in that patch. So <laughs> I really want to make use of motorcycles. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to go fight some Lionels, blow off some steam, and I'll see you guys next time for another Pal plays The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Oh, also you can see I got another heart container and another stamina upgrade. Yeah. All right. See you guys later. If I was going to be searching for hours, or what? There was once a man who claimed to be the very art incarnation of a fairy. He treasured this hood, and so will you. After all, it's a really, it's a rather rare find. Kulu. Limp. Ah.